Now it's recording. So All right, hi, welcome to Sunspot Road Mania. This is episode 62. <laughs> and we're just relaxing on the porch here, having a beer at band practice on what, what day is Wednesday, August 15th, 2007. It's a day that ends in Y. It's a good day for beer 30. It certainly is. Well, interesting, I mean, has a, we're already halfway through August. Today, halfway through August, what do you guys think? I think uh, last night about half of the city was homeless. It was, uh, it was move out and move in. Okay. the past two days here. For oh Madison yeah! Folks. If you're not, if you don't live in Madison, <laughs> you don't know this exceptional uh, day that we have. And I, I was talking about this yesterday. I don't know why it's propagated every year. Like, because now listen to this: the amount of garbage created oh, yeah. yesterday by the students is equal to the amount of garbage created by the rest of Madison for the entire year. Eggs. Right. So one day the garbage is equal. They have every garbage truck, and they borrow trucks too, yep, from the neighboring to town, out. Middleton, yep. Cross Plains, whatever the fuck the town is, and um, they borrow all the trucks. And they're running uh, constantly for the entire day. Yeah. Well, I think that they do the the lease end on the 14th, lease begin on the 15th thing, so they could save money on the painters, the carpet cleaners. Like the, it's advantageous for the landlords. Uh, of course, everything's advantageous to the landlords. Right, it's not advantageous to the students who have to sleep on the lawn for that. <laughs> right. Remember when we had to do that? Oh, well, we didn't sleep on the lawn. We slept at our friend Max's Right, house. but our furniture was on the lawn. Yes, it was, in front of where we were going. Yes. I was anyway. Just, I was just reflecting on the fact that uh, middle of August, August 10th, I believe, no, 11th, Beware the Ides of August. <laughs> was, uh, Very scared. Today is the Ides of August. <laughs> but the Don't go, uh, leave your house. Not too long ago, it was August 11th, and that was the six-year anniversary of our first oh, time ever playing in right. New York City. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. I yes, saw the wheels right. like <laughs> grinding in your head. Well, make sure you no, the we have the, we have the pictures and stuff like that. Anyway, so that is very exciting. But yeah, and that was a really fun show at the Lions then. Yeah, oh yeah, so, that night was great. That was six years ago, my God. I know. Right, so that's uh, why we're excited about what's coming up in Madison over the next uh, week. Yes, we Friday are. Friday night we're at McCullough's, and you guys know the kind of shit that goes on at McCullough's. We talked, we talked about McCullough's <laughs> in depth last, yeah. last time. Extensively. Um, but we're excited about it. Don't forget that the annex right is on uh, Saturday night. And then Madison, if you're in Madison, this is one you're not going to miss because we're going to go buck wild at the annex. It is going to be insane. And I, I heard... Oh, go ahead. I was just curious what you were planning on blowing up since they outlawed pyrotechnics in the last podcast you mentioned we're going to blow shit up. Well, right. I'm going to talk about it right now. Oh, okay. I'm going to say come to the show and you'll see some they'll see some minds blown at least. Oh, okay. And it's the <laughs> Axiom CD release party and I got a sneak preview of their CD and it's quite excellent. It rocks. And we're right, recorded by Dan Chez. What he called it? <laughs> All right. Now our friend we call him Dan O. But his nickname does it say Dan Chez on the CD? I don't know. Oh, it's a burn copy. Okay. I don't believe it does. Okay. No, I, I just no, I don't think they have him credited as Dan Chess. Because <laughs> that'd be awesome. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. I don't, there's no good nickname. Well, I don't have a good nickname. H-bomb. Ooh. Looks hey, like I mean, you're going to get one. Yeah, right, it's going to be something nasty too, like, oh, puberty. Ha, ha, ha. I don't said H-bomb was good. Dude, your head's like half out. Right, right. H-bomb is good. Half in and half out. So, okay, we got this uh, review, and, and I think we should read it to you because it's from... Toxic Flyer. Toxic Flyer. Magazine, thank now, you for gonna, reviewing our CD. Is that going to show up backwards? No. Or forwards? So just the screen's backwards? No. Oh, yeah, it is. It's like a mirror. Whoa. Because it's... I don't know how that works. That's actually. weird. Okay. We're not even... There's no screen Right, we're there. not even supposed to look <laughs> at not the look, screen. Right, you're looking at the wrong thing. thing. Come I on, Lonely right. Girl 15. So I think we should read it like like we're in church reading a... Um, <laughs> what do you call it? <clears throat> A verse or something, and we should all read it together. <laughs> all right, you guys in? No, okay. no, we shouldn't all read it together because <laughs> they're not going to figure out what we funny. say. No, just you just read I could it just alone. Scan oh, you're it and, spoil oh, okay. sport. We can put it on the blog anyway. Okay, so Wendy, well, why don't you read it? Let's not read it because if we're going to put it on the blog, but if we all read it together, nobody will now you have a reason saying. to check the blog. Okay, anyway, it's a good review. <laughs> thanks, um, Toxic Flyer. So thanks, for listening Toxic to Flyer, for listening to the Anathol. We Woo! love you. Kisses. We kiss you. 
Anything exciting you guys read or listen to anything exciting this past week? Any new music? I uh, I went to here, I should get in here. I went to Dream Theater last Tuesday and I met Mike Portnoy and he was oh, really that's cool. Hot. Yeah. And uh, really decent guy and everything. It's a great show. The uh, the metal up your ass bands that opened for them, however, were were kind of um, unexpected. The first band, the guy's voice was so high. He made the yes. guy uh, from um, who am I trying to think of? Steelheart, man. Yeah, he made that him, motherfucker ah, had the highest voice. He in made him oh, sound man. like he made him sound like a baritone. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So I mean, it was voice. really so unbelievable. We're talking high. like dog whistle high. Uh, it was Mariah Carey. Yeah, <laughs> right? The was. dogs are outside. <laughs> so, but I don't know. There were a lot of people that were really into the the super metal stuff. But I I really like Dream Theater because of the guitar playing. Sure. And that was at the Riverside. Riverside. How was yeah. the sound? The sound was okay. It's usually shitty at the Riverside. Right. Yeah. Yes. It was awful for the first two bands. They got most of it. You couldn't really hear the keyboard a lot um, during Dream Theater, but it, and and I think I heard like three notes from the bass, but I could hear the guitar fine. So sure. Nice. Right. No, last show I saw at the Riverside was Molly Crew. Mick Mars, first of all, looked like he had just gotten out of his coffin. They unmummified him. <laughs> right to get out of here. He just he looked really like a fucking skeleton. He was horrible. I mean, he played all right, but he just looked horrible. Vince Neil didn't sing half the word. Oh. Oh, oh. Earthquake. 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 Oh, guys. Doesn't that thing have a stabilizer? I was trying to do this. Does it have a stabilizer? I don't know. I don't know. I need a doorway. Find me a doorway. Oh, it's going to fall off the... We have to do the Star Trek thing. Yeah, don't do that. Oh. You know? <laughs> okay, but this is going on too long. Yeah, it is. Vince Neil, <laughs> Vince long. Neil didn't even sing half the words. Like, he let the audience sing and oh, stuff. That's and sad. plus, there were like 45 year old women in their tube. And there's nothing wrong with <laughs> wanting to be sexy. Because yes. there's a lot of sexiness that can be had with older women. <coughs> but when you're trying to show off your boobs like you're 20 or whatever, and when you let them out of your tube tops, they hit your waist, <laughs> get out of the business. What do you mean? It's a rock concert. I think anybody can flash That's anybody right. if they okay. want to, okay. man. No, no. Maybe I was just feeling it because it made me <laughs> feel old and Vince Neil looked old. And the only guy that didn't look old was Tommy Lee. And, like, he was talking about being in jail and stuff, and I didn't have any pity for him because it's like, you were in jail for beating your wife. Oh, God. So we're going to be like, yeah, we feel really fucking sorry for you, Tommy Lee. Looks like we went sideways. Oh. Interesting. Anyway, anyway. Well, you uh, heard Wendy. Anybody's welcome to flash at, at rock shows. Well, That's I'm just right. Saying, you know, it's like it's part of the show. I don't think anybody should feel like they're too old or whatever. It's like I think you're going to get a moment. present. This no, weekend. no, no. Just to, no. I just think I really I don't want to think too old either, and I'm not one to judge or anything like that. But I think we should try to dress for what works best for our body types and things like that. Yeah, but when you're flashing, I guess. And yeah, it, I, that's clothes. true. That's true. Snoobsy <laughs> snoobs, and I shouldn't be complaining. Right. There you go. Really, uh, you are correct. You are correct. All right. Actually, I, uh, speaking of, I wrote an article about Courtney Love in the blog. I read. Yeah, I saw it. Interesting. Anyway, there's more. We're just talking and having fun. So, uh, Your head is like, like, we will. Okay. We'll come back here. <laughs> right, to the same size now. Look at how white it is. There's is only half balance? a bed. Is <laughs> Put your head in there, Dick. I only need half of me. That's cool. Right, okay. You're half the man you used to be. <laughs> Feelers don't change the green. <laughs> okay. end. So, uh, s Friday, McCullough's. Uh, we'll be playing at 10 o'clock. We're up first. Saturday, we'll be at the Mighty Annex in Madison. 10.45 we play. Yep. So, 10.45 on Saturday, 10 o'clock on Friday. We'll see you at both shows. We're just talking now. We'll do a, a podcast from both shows. We just wanted to, we wanted to holler at everybody real quick. You know so come on, say it. Hello! <laughs> All right. Hello. All right, so we'll see you next time on Sunspot Road Mania! That's episode 62. Wow. How do you turn this thing off? You don't have to. It's plugged in.